All right, so we are recording now. So we're going to measure in centimeters. So when measuring in centimeters, read the highest whole number possible first. This goes to the left of your decimal. Count the number of small ticks, which is millimeters, until you get to the end of your object. Okay, that goes to the right of the decimal. The only problem is, well, it's not a problem, but realize the rulers that we have at school, at least the plastic ones that I keep giving out, are actually measured in millimeters. So when this goes 10, 20, 30, 40, that's all in millimeters, that's little ticky bits. If you wanted, if that was in centimeters, it would be one, two, three. So take a moment and figure out the length of the, the pen in centimeters. So I'm just gonna cheat and do that. So to my mind, it's 13 centimeters and whoa that's hard to read one two three four five six eight millimeters is that what you guys got give me a thumbs up So rumor has it, if you go to the bottom of your screen, there's things called reaction. Click on that, give me a thumbs up today. See if you can find that. Nice, good job, Corey. <laughs> Old school, yeah, I can't find it on mine either. John, what about you? Give me a I thumbs can't up. Find it. That's what I was trying to find, I can't find it. Okay. Hey, Corey, where was it? I'm on my phone right now. Oh, okay. I haven't used uh, Chrome yet, to be honest. Oh, okay. I just got it charging today right now. Where'd you find it? Tell John. It's not a okay, I've, I found it in reactions at the bottom of the laptop. <laughs> I'll mute you again. There we go. Can you find it, John? So hold on, if I stop my share. Well, then you can't see what I'm doing. No, okay. I didn't. See that. I, I can't see anything. So when I go onto this screen or whatever, it just says mute share button participants and uh, chatting and sharing and leaving meetings. And there's no little dots there? No. Okay. okay well, it says there's a, well, it's just a chat, right? I don't know okay. if that's what you mean by that. Don't worry about it. If you can all bring in your laptops tomorrow. No, wait a minute. Yeah, if you can bring them in tomorrow, we'll take a look at it. Maybe we can figure it out. All right, uh, whoops, I'm doing the wrong share. You don't need to see that part. We need to see the camera. My skills get better as the year goes on. It just feels like I'm way out of whack with this. All right, so 13.8 centimeters. Let's get back to work. To convert to millimeters and kilometers, whoops, and all of that, cook them, add dinner, but didn't cook much. I'm always redrawing that. The more times you redraw it, the more you're likely you are to remember it. And we're at centimeters. So we're going 13.8 centimeters and we're converting that to millimeters. So from centimeters to millimeters is one step. So my decimal place is gonna go like that and it should be 138 millimeters. If I want to convert it to kilometers, I have to go backwards and I got to count all the way to here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five steps. So 13.8, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five steps, zero, zero, zero. So zero decimal, and then I got three zeros that I need, one, Three, eight. Please humor me. Nice big decimal. I don't want to buy new glasses. 
and the zero up front just makes it look better. Can you guys convert it to meters? Yes. Can you do it? Corey, was that you that said yes? I didn't see who, who spoke. It was me. All right, what's the answer? Is it 1.38? Let's see. Um, I don't think so. From centimeters to meters, remember it's here is our base. That's going to be meters. So one, two. So one, two. So 0 0.1. Ah, I lost my one. There we go. So practice, practice, practice on this stuff. All right, flip the page. I want you guys to do that push pin thing right now. Measure it in centimeters and then do the conversions and we'll check them out together. John, what did you measure? I got 2.2. What did you see? Or what do you see? Do you agree with me? For A? Yeah. The push pin. No, just did I get, is it 2.2 centimeters? Or is it 2.3? Measure the length of the push pin centimeters. I got 2.3. You got 2.3. Marilyn, what'd you get? Two or three? I got 2.3. Okay, well, I'll trust you guys because I'm having a terrible time seeing this. Okay, so we got 2.3 centimeters. And we're going to convert that millimeters. All right, I'm going to stop, let you guys do that. I'll put in my chart. So come have dinner. But didn't call me from. All right, from centimeters to millimeters is one step. So I'm gonna go one step to my right. That's gonna give me 23 millimeters. I think we're gonna go I'm gonna convert over to kilometers. I know it's gonna go a whole bunch to the left. And it's gonna be one, two, three. Four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So zero decimal one, two, three, four, two, three. I don't know why anybody would actually measure the length of a push pin in kilometers, but it's kind of good practice. When we get into science and chemistry in the next semester, we're going to learn about something called scientific notation that's going to uh, 
we're not going to have to write so many zeros. We'll find a much more compact, easier way to write it. And the last thing, converting into meters. So I'm at centimeters, and I'm going to go to meters. That's going to be one, two steps back. So one, two steps. 0 0.023. Make the decimal big so everybody can see it. All right, so after class today, do the, the one with the crayon. I'm going to flip the page. So this is just a review of everything we've done. And we did do it at the beginning in science, and it's coming back now, so it's cool. So remember, reference are um, things that are easy to remember that give you the approximate length of something. So one millimeter is about the width of a dime. That's one I always use. One centimeter, oops, ah, I'm so glad I recorded that little screech on, t on the video. Okay, it's with your pinky more or less. And one meter is about from your nose to end of arm. Right, when it's outstretched like that, more or less. So we're gonna do the first few of these together, make sure we're good. So the length of a small paper clip could be 31 millimeters, 31 centimeters, 31 meters, or 31 kilometers. Hey, Corey, which one? Is it millimeters? Yes. Right, centimeters, that would be about that far. 31 meters. Mm, I think longer than any of the hallways we have in town or in the school. And kilometers is just silly. I don't know what town is 31 kilometers out of here, like Belle Plaine or something. All right, the length of a tennis racket. John, is it millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers? Centimeters or? Nope, stop there. That's completely right. Right? With your pinky finger. Or from here to here on the ruler. The little ticks on here are millimeters. The ones that are counting up by 10, 20, 30, those are also centimeters. All right, last one. Hey, Marilyn, distance around a racetrack. Two kilometers or kill me, I don't know. <laughs> Perfect either way. Okay, excellent. Now, part B is just converting. So make sure you, I would suggest you use that. I think at one point I gave you a index card to write it on so you don't have to keep write, rewriting it. You can do these. Now I'm gonna turn the page one more time. And we've got three little word problems. I think I would like you, oops. I would like you to tackle number three right now. I'll give you a couple of minutes, take a look at it and see what you can do. The only thing I'll tell you is beware, you've got different types of units in there. So you need to decide, you can convert them all to kilograms or all to grams, it doesn't matter but they all have to be the same type of units.
So when we did this on Friday, I said you should always convert to the smaller unit, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. And as I'm looking at this, I've got kilograms and kilograms and grams. To me, it makes sense to change this one into kilograms, because then I'm only doing one thing. If I decide to go to the smallest unit, then I have to convert this one and this one. There's no real rule. I just tend to convert to the smaller one if it makes sense. So the first thing I'm gonna do, sorry, is 500 grams. I'm gonna convert that over to kilograms. I'm not even honestly paying a whole lot of attention to the question. I know every time I do these, they all have to have matching units. Come head, oopsies. Had dinner, but didn't cook much. So, John, where does grams go on this chart? I don't see a G, I messed up. Okay, what did you say? Where does grams belong? I don't know where it goes, like this one. I know I need to end up a kilo, but where would grams start? From B. Perfect, exactly. It's a single letter, so it's gonna be one of my bases. So one, two, three. And it was three to the right, so if I'm at 500, let me write that looks I put a decimal at the end, and then I go one, two, three. So 0 0.5 kilogram. If you want to keep the zeros at the end, that's fine, but we don't need them. All right. So now we get to actually look at the question. Peter is overweight. He is 105 kilograms. His aim is to lose 500 grams per week. Okay, so 0 0.5 or half a kilo every week. If he manages this, how many weeks until he is 90 kilograms? What do you guys think we should do first? Okay, I think we should subtract and figure out how much weight he has to lose in, t in total. So he's sitting at 105 and I'm gonna subtract 90. So he wants to lose 15 kilograms and we need to know how many 0.5 grams are in there. Sorry, 0.5 kilograms. So we're gonna multiply, divide, add, subtract. Mary Lynn, what do you think we should do? Divide. Perfect. So 15 divided by 0 0.5. All right, it's gonna be, whoopsies, 30 weeks. So for math, I'm basically done this. What I want you to do is, you can do the crayon over here. Whoopsies, you can't see that. Do the crayon question. You can finish all of these, all of these, and you can do these top two so that tomorrow we'll be ready to go on to the next one, which is talking about conversion factors. Um, there's kind of a special way I want to do it to make life easy for all of us when we're doing the imperial system, which is the feet and inches stuff. 
All right, that is it for math. So I'm going to stop the recording.